Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on connected rates of change, connecting three derivatives. Here is the exam question. The surface area A of a metallic cube of side length X is increasing at the constant rate, the word rate indicates differential, of 0.45 cm squared per second. Cm squared per second indicates surface area over time. Find the rate at which the volume of the cube is increasing when the cube's side length is 8 cm. Please pause the video, have a go at this exam question once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. I'm going to start off by drawing a cube. So I've got a cube, side length x, so we've got x by x by x. A is the surface area of the cube. The area of one face is x times x, which is x squared. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 faces, so 6 lots of x squared, hence 6x squared. That's the formula for the surface area A. Now, this implies that dA over dx will equal, bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power, 12x. The volume V is given by length times width times height, so that's x cubed. This implies that dV over dx will equal, bring down the power, subtract 1 from the power, so that is 3x squared. We also know that the surface area A of a metallic cube of side length x, so this is my cube, is increasing at the constant rate of 0.45 cm squared per second. So dA over dt is equal to 0.45. My target is to find the rate at which the volume of the cube is increasing. So I'm trying to work out dV over dt when the side length is 8 cm, when x is equal 8. That is my target. I'm connecting three derivatives. So to work out dV over dt, I must do dV over blank multiplied by blank over blank multiplied by blank over dt. Right, so I've got dA over dx, dV over dx, and dA over dt. So I should have dV over, let's have a look, dx, I know that that one there is 3x squared. Then I must put a dx over here so that these two cancel. So dx over, this one's used up, over dA. I know that dA over dx is 12x. dx over dA is the reciprocal of that. And then I've got dA over here because the dA's have to cancel. So the dx is cancel, the dA's cancel, giving us dV over dt. So the left is equal to the right. Perfect. So we've used up the variable a, the variable v, the variable x, and the variable t. It has been used up. Right, so now we've got dv over dt equal dv over dx, which is 3x squared, multiplied by dx over dA. That would be the reciprocal of that, so 1 over 12x, multiplied by dA over dt, which is 0.45. Right, so if I multiply these three elements, my dV over dt will equal 9 over 80x. So now I can work out dV over dt when x is equal 8. This will equal 9 over 80 multiplied by 8, giving me precisely 0 0.9. Because we're working out the rate at which the volume of the cube is increasing, the unit will be centimetre cubed per second. That is the final answer. This completes the exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question, connected rates of change, connecting three derivatives. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.